All right, guys, so we got two brand new leaks we'll be discussing in today's video, as well as a returning event with a lot of rewards, such as triple and double the rewards. So we're going to be talking about the whole thing, a lot of stuff to talk about in today's video. So if you guys do find value, and if you guys want to keep getting updated here 24-7, everything Dragon Ball Legends, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe, because why not? It is for free, and you know, I greatly appreciate it. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump into the video. First and foremost, I do want to shout out my boy Spoon here. Um, he did some great jobs at leaking some stuff at times of uh, some stuff pro digital some stuff uh Gru's dog as well a ton of leakers but um here we see two leaks in precise this is the first one you guys see here this is one of these little icons you guys see above your characters um you know uh, health bar when they're fighting such as cover notification you get that little cover guy or any kind of buffs you get or like uh, paralyzed poison stuff like that right so uh, this one right here is a brand new one called hate up so don't know what that means you know hate up maybe it's like a rage type um boost or something like that or maybe it's like a rage where uh you have blast armor a character that does have blast armor now gets blast armor because of this i don't know this could be literally anything it's so vague but it is a leak it's something new or at least it's something we haven't really noticed it might be it might have been in the database already because if you guys remember ultra hits unique gauge was in the database three months ahead of time or give or take so yeah this could be kind of the same scenario um i'll make sure to keep an eye out on this in case we get any other information uh but i was taking a look at the powerful opponent tag just in case um maybe some kind of hate up kind of symbolizes a certain character such as broly broly hates you know kakara or at least the dbz broly right but i don't think we're gonna get anything broly related because we already have a ultra broly here so like i said you know the, the hate up is so vague anybody really has hate it's just an emotion <laughs> really it's what it is right um maybe this a lot of people are tossing out full power frieza corrupt samasu don't know um it could be literally anything right even super vegeta uh gets angry as well or vegeta gets angry in general but uh super vegeta you know when he's fighting cell he kind of gets pissed off at that final flash so i don't know it could be anything who knows right who knows it could be something that we're going to get like months down the line so that is the first leak the second leak i want to talk about is this so this is from one of the wishes when you officially collect all seven Dragon Balls and you get to summon Shenron. We all know you can choose to uh, pick 1,000 crystals from Shenron and a few other stuff now, um, or like such as a title. I do want to say this. A lot of people are speculating that this is an outfit for Shalit, although it could be. I want to kind of just say it's not because the outfit for Shalit usually has these little gray boxes with a little either power bowl or a little costume on it. So um them to just have this out of nowhere it's we honestly do not know what this means but we do know that it happens every single year uh, shenron usually has some kind of useless souvenir we can grab so this might be a useless souvenir we don't know yet um but i'll like i said i'll keep an eye out on this and if we get any other information i'll let you guys know but this also could be if for example, this is an outfit for Shalit. People are saying Shalit could hold the God of Destruction tag, but why does it even matter? God of Destruction is not really a tag in Dragon Ball Legends. It's not like people dish out God of Destruction, right? People usually dish out like God Key and stuff like that, but um, Shalit is already God Key. So to me, it would not make any sense um, unless Beerus has another tag that I am not familiar with. Um, powerful opponent, maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see what this means. It could be, like I said, just a souvenir. So take everything with a grain of salt. And this unique gauge could come out months down the line. So take this with a, new, uh, with a grain of salt as well. And really quick, two things before we get to the triple and double rewards. If you guys do want to farm a raid buddy, by all means, go to my Twitter. Everything is linked down below. Go check out the links. And you guys can find yourself a uh, good buddy. And you can also exchange QR codes to summon Shenron, right? Um, and uh, yeah, actually, we're going to go into our game real quick just to show you guys. Because I was going to show you here, but... I could just go to my game so here we are in my game oops let's do this all right so let's go to our um not events i'm so sorry uh let's go to our new section let's go to page two and scroll all the way down really quick so there is of course the legends rank which you guys are all familiar with on uh, this time around everything is going to be not everything i'm sorry uh you're going to get triple the slot unlock souls and double the legends medals and double the crystals from ranking rewards now i'll be showing you guys a quick tip on how to rank high on this um as you guys can see i i of course you know summoning and spending money will get your ranker uh, um, a higher rank in uh in legends rank but 
overall there is still some really good tips and tricks i do want to show you guys um right now i'm ranked 157 in the world so that's pretty good too now really quick just to clarify these are the slot unlock souls so these will be tripled um the crystals will be of course uh doubled and then these will be doubled as well so these are actually really good because uh for example here if you guys rank where i usually top rank right here uh i would collect 14 instead of seven and out of these, I would collect nine instead of three and then 600 crystals as well. And then here, six out of the, um, oh, that's actually really good. If they included in the, in the, in the group stages as well, that'd be actually very good. Cause then I would be able to grab two of the, um, legends rank unique equipment. So that's actually really cool. I'm going to definitely keep an eye out on this. I'm definitely farm this one hard. Um, like I always do, but a really good tip for you guys that I suggest you guys do, which I personally do that is free is whenever you do your adventures, make sure you guys haste at least 10 a day. And the way you do that is pretty simple. You click haste, right? What I do basically is I put on seven hour adventures, right? And then I put on 123 hour adventure, which I just let roll. But for these seven hour adventures, I just haste them at least 10 times, at least 10 times. And you need Z2 medals to collect these rocket boosts, right? And you collect Z2 medals pretty much by summoning. So you guys should have something if you're playing the game, right? Um, and if we just go to our really quick, um, uh, our Z2 medals, right? Um, here, I already collected mine. So it's rocket boost. It does not cost too much. Um, by all means, grab it. Um, it should it should boost your it should boost your legends rank to a notable amount. And if you guys want to do that, you guys can also always do your summons via tickets. If you have any any like extra tickets and something like that. I'm trying to think of something on top of my head because I know I have something else up my sleeve. But I forgot because I'm really, really tired. I'm like on two hours of sleep. So, um, yeah, we have this. This is really good too. Get, get your skip tickets. Get your rocket boost. Very good stuff, guys. Um, and it's really cool because now we're also going to be able to get some really good rewards off of this. Such as we can actually collect seed medals off of this now. Uh, but of course we can collect these busted equipments. Uh, this is for range. This is for strike. I already have the strike and the range one fully maxed out, but next I'm going to collect the defense one and then the support one. So I can have at least one of each. And then after that, I'll recycle it through once again and start collecting the C metals after that as well. So, uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. The leaks I showed you as well as a quick tip on this. So make sure you guys are on top of, um, your legends rank this season because everything is tripled and doubled as well. So a uh, quick heads up on that. And as always, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like and subscribe. And by the way, I will be coming back to live streaming very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that as well, because I had to fix some kind of lag issues that I had, um, here on my PC. I have a laptop PC, so I do got to get a better one, but, um, with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like and subscribe, and I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.